The following is a little walk around of my wife's. Um, she's owned it only about six months. Yeah, it's a 2000, excuse me, it's a 1976 Honda 750, CB 754. Um, she has a new interest in motorcycles. I happen to have a 72, a bike very similar to this. She, she loves my bike. She bought herself one and she found that it's just a little too tall for her and so she's not comfortable on the thing. Anyway, I'll try to point out some of its high points and some of its um, lesser points. It's a nice, clean, central California bike. Um, I'm gonna come in close here on the motor. You'll see that it there's no coastal influence, and I'm sure we've all seen these, that the fins are all black and fuzzy. Um, this one's quite nice. The plastic coating that Honda put on the die cast motor on this one is really nice shape. So, um, there's a small crack in this uh, oil cover. I, I guess what I'm trying to show here mostly is that this is an original, unmolested 76. Um, I, I feel quite certain that this is the original cover on this seat. If I come in close here on the front, you can see there that it's, it's not long for this world. I mean, if it got much use, I think it would uh, possibly split out, but um, it's a nice example of a of an original. Um, let me come down on the pipe. So the pipes on the right side, there. That's a good shot right there. It looks like it it uh, rolled over on its side and skinned this side up a little bit. The guard's in nice shape. The rest of the pipes are in nice shape. The front of the pipes have taken a little bit of you know road abuse, but really not much. It's um, quite a lovely old bike okay I'll go up and uh, scan the um, it's got 29,247 miles on it I am certain that that is original mileage on it everything works as it should um, starts shifts clutch all the lights uh, everything works as it should there's one thing that works it works but it's not exactly as the factory intended. Uh, light is not as good on this side, but I'm trying to give you a, a good idea. There, that's a pretty good example of some of the plastic coat that's left the die cast. But again, you know, I think that this thing is in quite lovely shape. Uh, the cover on the electrical side is pretty beat up. I don't know if you can see that pretty good. The paint is okay on it, but it's cracked. It's been repaired. Pipes on this side are are, are really quite nice. The guard's got a few little paint falling off on it, but it's not skinned up. Good shape. These are the, you know, of course, the 341s. There it is that uh, came on these bikes. Um, it's got new old stock Metzlers on it. These tires are brand new but I don't really know how old they are. Okay. Oh, um, this little switch is actually the starter button. And I'm gonna bounce you around a little bit now up to the controls. Uh, again, everything works like it should. Key switch has been moved up to the top, which was typical in this era. And I want to show you this side because you'll see the start button is not there. So, so it starts, starts as you should, but not exactly in the correct place. All right, I think that's pretty comprehensive. Um, paint on the tank is fabulous. I'm going to try to get you a shot. It has, the, right there, that's a pretty good shot of a dimple in the top. It's slight, like maybe uh, someone was grocery getting with the thing and got a little dimple. The paint is excellent on the tank. And... Um, just a note that a lot of us 750 Honda people know, the, this is the last year for the iconic 754 that changed the world is 1976. All of the 76s that were imported to the United States were red. Okay, I'm gonna pan out here and uh, there you have it.